And in just one hour, making mid mayoral candidates Clifford Whitby and Lester Miller will talk about the issues and their qualifications in a debate that will air live on 13WMAZ.com. The runoff election is one week away, and tonight 13WMAZ and our partners at the Mercer Center for Collaborative Journalism will set the stage for both candidates to share their take on things that affect you. Many of the topics in tonight's debate came from you in our 13 WMAZ listening lab. In February, we took it to nine areas around Macon Bibb. You talked and we listened, then we brought the issues to the candidates. Tonight, Ashlyn Webb talks to both men about how they plan to bust blight in Bibb County. Both Clifford Whitby and Lester Miller say the county needs to be intentional about busting blight, but each have different ideas to tackle it. On residential blight, Whitby says the county must first bring economic opportunities to people in blighted areas. Blight is a byproduct of lack of those type of investment and the economic disparities that exist in these various communities is a direct correlation between blighted neighborhoods and economic disparities. Miller suggests partnering with the Bibb County School System, the County Land Bank Authority, and nonprofits to rehab blighted homes. What the school system can do is we can furnish children that want to maybe get a trade or a skill that could actually hook up with a contractor, and we can rebuild those houses. And they would start from the ground up. They would get the permits. They were going to have to do HVAC. They were going to have to do plumbing. They were going to have to do carpentry. Miller says the county could fight blight and high school students could learn skills while getting paid. At the end of that time, you can sell the house for what you got in it and move on to the next project. And you can sell the house to a teacher, to a police officer, to a veteran, to a disabled person, you know, to a firefighter, and, and maintain that community in the way it should be. As for commercial blight, Whitby says it's caused by the lack of resources. What we've got to do is drill down and turn the tide with supporting entrepreneurs and people in this community that need opportunity and spread the resources that exist. Miller says the county needs to find ways to freeze taxes for several years for businesses who would like to fill spaces hit by commercial blight. So we can have somebody come in and repurpose that property. And uh, we're going to definitely repurpose some property, whether we change it to medical or educational or warehouse storage. It's never going to be just retail anymore. Both candidates have much more to say on the topic of blight. You can watch the full interview on the subject on our website, 13WMAZ.com. Reporting in Megan, Ashlyn Webb, 13 WMAZ News. All right, thank you, Ashlyn. The runoff again a week from today, August 11th. You can watch our live debate with the two candidates tonight at 7 on 13WMAZ.com. We will also air it tomorrow from 5 to 6 right here on 13WMAZ.